Welcome back guys, this is Srikant. In this video, I am going to show you how to call a stored procedure which are having the parameter. Okay, perfectly fine. So, for that, we are, we are going to use the old procedure which we already created. So, this is a stored procedure. Here, I am adding the three parameter. The uh, first one is ID, the second one is name at the rate name, uh, which is having the where care of 200. Then I am adding the third column as the degree and the data type is pair of 200 ok this is a store procedure and I am passing the id here the name basically I am trying to make the value dynamic then for the degree I am selecting the variable and making it as like this then degree so basically whatever the value you will pass those value would be the part of the stored procedure as this stored procedure already already been created so we only simply need to alter it just alter the definition for the stored procedure and go back to our SSRS so this is our designing part now what I am going to do I am going to to click on our data set which we already created and just do a double click over there the moment you double click over there you will see the pop up so before doing any change I'm going to show you what are the different things we are seeing we are seeing ID name degree as a three fields here uh, in options we are seeing multiple options in parameters are we seeing anything no we are not seeing anything so so the basically SSRS won't uh, update automatically you need to go to uh, your respective data set and you need to click on a refresh so I'm simply click on, clicking on the query then simply uh, click on the ex explanatory sign and just executing it and these are the three values basically I'm not I'm, no, I'm passing null so click on ok I will see no value because we already passed the null value there so click on ok ok fine then click on ok ok and just double click over the data set and again go to the parameters one now here you will see these are the three new parameter has been added these are the three parameter which we created in a store procedure now this this parameter has been uh, appended or binded to the SSRS data set so click on ok now we are not going to change any design part because we haven't altered the any definition for the columns or we have not changed the name for the column so simply we will go to the preview if there are any error we will see those error in the preview section but if there are no error we won't see anything but just wait for this thing now it is asking us three things the id name and the degree so give id as a one then name as a shrikant and degree as a bachelor of engineering perfectly fine Just click on a view report now you will see those value in the report which you have passed okay best of it now I'm changing Shrikan to Rohit and let's see what happens the name which I was seeing previously Shrikan here in this section now I can see the name is Rohit I'm going to change the ID from 1 to 2 let's see the ID okay this is fine so this is this is the simplest way where we can uh, have the parameters and uh, how to refresh those parameters if the SP has been changed and how to refresh the preview section we already talk about in this video and thanks for watching this video hope you guys like and enjoyed our video and thanks for watching